Hey, ready fresh. It is the 9th of April, 2018, and I must show you this. Um, just looking around the news, and everybody knows, you know, we had the fire at Trump Tower, right? And uh, everybody should be aware, anyway, that we've also had a chemical weapons attack on the same day. This chemical weapons attack happened just a couple hours prior to the Trump Tower fire, right? But what I wasn't aware of is, at the same time, in Jerusalem, at the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, they were holding their holy fire ceremony, okay? And I'll link this. You can read all about this. But essentially, it's a ritual. It is not biblical. And I firmly believe it would not be approved of by Jesus himself. But I digress. This ritual went on, okay? Now listen how they pull this off. During the annual ceremony, top Eastern Orthodox clerics enter the etiquette the small chamber marking the site of the tomb. They then emerge because that isn't the place of Jesus' tomb. It's patently false. They then emerge to reveal candles said to be miraculously lit with holy fire as a message to the faithful from heaven. The details of the flame source are a closely guarded secret. Really? Come on, folks. Look at this stuff. The holy fire ritual. Look at this fella here. Look at the regalia. I mean, come on, folks. Double-headed serpents. Sun symbols everywhere. This is nuts. But what I wanted to show you is they reported that the divine light appeared at 5.17 p.m. 5.17. They know exactly what time, which is 3.17. That's Jerusalem time. Trump Tower caught on fire for all my research in the last 20 minutes the best thing that i can find they do not tell us when this fire started this is the only record i can find that it received an alert through an alarm company around 5:35. real you know good information right this one here however which one? This one right here tells us that people were spotting smoke and debris coming from the 50th floor at around 530. So I'm going to call 530 the time that the fire started, right? So these people at 317 had their ritual going on in Jerusalem. It's a seven hour difference between there and New York. And this happened at 530. So, if you do the math, folks, it's nine hours, the ninth hour, and 13 minutes. That is just weird. And I'll link everything I've seen, but that is crazy. But that's not where it ended. That's only where it started for me. And look at every single timestamp, 11, 13. I just want to show you this, 6.33. Let's see, 11.11, 11. I'm just telling you, this is the stuff that I see. There's another one here, 11.03, all right, so 9 hours and 13 minutes, okay? Look at this stuff, this is where it gets interesting. There was one guy that was killed, right, and his name was Todd Brasner, and he was 67 years old. 13 right and i got i just take a quick look into the name i'm just pulled that way you know todd from a biblical perspective the best i can do is origin it means wise and its origin is latin thaddeus was the surname of the apostle jude and it just hit me like a brick it's like what i was just talking about on my last video, I think, was the separating, the separation. And this is talking about the separation. I mean, that's what Jude really is. It's end times, and they separate themselves. The heathenist, the 46, I guess you could say, that I showed you yesterday. The 46, right? 
You had the 69, the 33, the 23, the 46, the separate. This just all says the same message, is this separation is upon us through rebellion, essentially. Okay? And it's just over and over again I get the same message. You know? And let's not forget on the same exact night this happened. The same exact night we had these uh, chemical attacks happen in Syria. Look at this, 1033. The same exact night, and it was this that happened in between, from my best estimations, it happened in between this ritual and the Trump Tower fire. Fire, fire, fire on the ninth hour, the 13th minute, and so I know something's there. And for it to relate directly to Jude, that's a trip, and that is something to pay attention to in my view please read Jude it's just fascinating beyond understanding and a necessity being prayed up always is not just something I say it's something that you need to do you know all I do man I'm I'm pretty busy uh, but I just I'm constantly looking up and I'm constantly singing little songs in my heart just to keep my mind on the Lord because it's the only thing that's going to pull you through the things that are coming on this earth. It's not going to be traveling to Jerusalem to light a candle from a secret holy fire in a little shrine that has nothing to do with where Jesus died and resurrected. Nothing at all. It's a giant lie and a sham and they're leading you into that broad gate. All right, so... Focus on Jesus. That's what you need to do. And do it through the word of God. Read Jude. Pray first. Ask for discernment. I had to share that with you guys. Pretty crazy stuff. Have a great day, y'all. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 